happenings, global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Many thanks for keeping faith with us and Happy New Year once again. Right now, a lot of things are happening in Nigeria with the new pump prize. Hopefully, uh, we're hopeful that um, it will not be so. They're pegging it between 1,200 per liter, but Nigerians are really looking at the situation where it shouldn't get there at all. While that is going on, the former president of Nigeria, Chief Felicia Guamabasanjo, is crying out because the level of uh, poverty level of uh, debt burden level of economic downtown in nigeria is really super high while we're at it uh she Sani, the former kaduna state um south, south uh, kaduna state senator cried out and said look let's tell ourselves the truth if you're if you're earning two hundred thousand naira in nigeria and above you're a public servant and if you're earning one hundred and fifty thousand naira you're, you're a civil servant but if you're earning anything less than one hundred fifty thousand naira and below in nigeria my brother, you're a servant too. That's exactly what he said. But let's find out really uh, what uh, Chief Olusegun Gwobasanjo is telling Nigerians as a whole. Former President Chief Olusegun Gwobasanjo said that mismanagement by the previous administrations has forced Nigeria into debt burden. The coming generations would have no option but to pay. Now, it is in a statement by his media aide, as Kenny De Akinyemi indicated that the elder statesman spoke during an engagement with 2023 awardees of the F F Future Africa Leaders Foundation, an initiative of Pastor Chris Oyahilome. Now, Obasanjo, during his reign as the president, in 2003, secured a debt relief for Nigeria. Likewise, his counterpart from Algeria at the same period. Now, the author farmer, however, said, with the level of mismanagement of the previous debt written off for the country, it will be almost impossible for any administration to get similar gesture in the continent. Now, Bassinger declared that the debts were a trap that no individual or nation should fall into as it constitutes an albatross on any economy. Now, the former president who asserted that the leadership was the number one problem facing the continent said, and I quote him word for word, he said the coming generations will have no choice but pay the current debt being incurred by different countries in the continent. He commended Pastor Oyahilome for the effort being put into building leaders, adding that the nation needed more people like him to address the leadership crisis facing the continent, highlighting the qualities a leader during the question and answer session. Obasan just said a leader should be able to set good examples, being bold and courageous when making decisions accepting mistakes and learning from them as well as having a realistic dream. Meanwhile, Obasanjo has assured that the country's socioeconomic situation could be better in another four years or thereabout, with prayers, of course, and thanksgiving. He made the disclosure at the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, uh, Ogo State Chapter 5th Thanksgiving service of his conferment as the Asiwaju Onigbangbo, Onigbangbo Ogun State held at the Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, OOPL of Abiokuta on Tuesday. Now, the former president said that it was a clear indication that the socioeconomic situations of the country were not in good stead. But mercy has been with us, and if that is so, why should we not thank God? Think, uh, think, think about it, he said. If you have breathed the free air of God, you should have cause to thank God. So things are bad. They may be good in space of what? Four years, maybe. And who knows? For Nigeria, things that are bad today may be good tomorrow. That is our prayer. And that is why we must never stop thanking God. In all situations, give thanks to God, Obasanjo told the congregation. Now, the former president thanked brothers and sisters in the vineyard of God for their continuous and persistent prayers for the country called Nigeria. He also added that such a difficult time, and when they are talking of being a fellow of mercy, mine is more than a fellow of mercy. 
Man is failure of grace and mercy of God. Anyone that is not enjoying this should put up his hand. If that is so, why should we not thank God? It's literally saying, uh, well, uh, Nigeria, uh, let's be thanking God. Let's uh, thank God for his mercies and grace. Thank God for the gift of life. But uh, for for the records, whatever debts this generation or this administration and the past administration, administration has incurred will definitely be paid by the next generations or generations. Of, but I can assure you, you know, the dead body is just beginning because uh, this uh, budget, this four budget, needs to be um, need to be backed up with financial financial uh, empowerment, and there is none for the now. So we've got to keep borrowing. And let's hope that there'll be more um, wise um, economic policies. But most Nigerians believe that the last. Um, budget and uh, po- economic policy made by the president is very um, elite friendly and masses um, unfriendly okay uh, 35 uh, 35000 minimum wage i think they paid it about once or twice and um, the people are still screaming at what's up what's going on and there seem to be some festive um st- uh, structure here and there for our our senators and our house of rep members those in the lead we are still looking at that we heard that there's some uh, thank God for likes of EFCC who have moved in but i think they've actually released her where we heard that in four days there about four days about about 40 billion there about was moved or is it 40 or 4 billion i'm not so sure now but in billions in four days quite huge or 44, I'm not, I'm not so sure of the, the, the real uh, number. We'll get back to you on that. But while that is going on, uh, Chief Olichogon Basanjo is saying that um, we need to brazen up the debt, debt cancellation was in his time, but there's no need there will be debt cancellation now. But let's feel the pause on and just it, one or two and we'll wrap this up. This one here says, debt they know nothing about. Even most of us around did not even benefit from the loan. This is akin to what the Bible described as the fathers eating sore grapes and the children teeth set on urge. I tell you honestly, and the person here says, normal level now, the children will pay for the sins of their fathers. Their fathers use tribalism and religion to vote in very useless government. This is serious. And another person here says, I was enjoying his talk until I read Pastor Chris. I'm still enjoying it even as I read Pastor Chris. And the person here says, no now, it won't include the Ronu and Agbado bunch amongst them all. With the APC membership card, they won't even require to, they won't be required to requisite anything to the government. They'll just go and say they are APC Ronu and they'll give them everything they want. Quite sarcastic, I must say. This one is a problem that all Nigerians are facing, whether Ronu or not, whether Agbadolians or not. When you go to buy food, do you bring out a card for Ronu people? Of course not. I guess um, very soon we'll understand what Chief Olisha Gwambasa is telling us in no distant time when we'll be made to pay for loans that we didn't enjoy, loans that um, we cannot really tell, at least from those who are not in government, they can't really tell what the loans are for or how they were being executed and we'll be paid, you'll be made to pay via taxes or God knows what. That's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation.